So continuing our look at World War One tanks that I would like to see added to War Thunder, it's now time to take a look at some of the tanks used by Japan. So Japan was involved in World War One, but it was mainly involved in clearing German and Austro-Hungarian forces from the Pacific and China region, and these territories were given to Japan, including the Chinese region ones, which did annoy China at the time, but there wasn't really much they could do about it. They did also send naval forces to the Mediterranean where they engaged German and Austro-Hungarian naval forces, but there was no large-scale deployment of troops to the Western Front. So Japan missed out on the initial development of tanks. So when it first started to build up its tank forces, it had to use imported models from the Allied nations. The first of these tanks that Japan received was a single British Mark IV female heavy tank and this arrived in October 1918, so before the war ended. But as you might tell from the female designation, this means it was only armed with machine guns. So it had five 7.7mm machine guns, rather than the two 57mm cannons of male variants. Meanwhile, as a heavy tank, it does weigh 28 tonnes, meaning it has a slow top speed of 3.7 miles per hour or 5.9 kilometres an hour, Armour ranges from about 12 to 6 millimetres and it has a crew of 8. Of course in game this tank would have to be a 0.0, .0 tank due to its machine gun armament. While in real life Japan, like pretty much every nation, was more interested in smaller, cheaper and lighter tanks. So for future orders Japan ordered the British Whippet tank, French Renault FT-17s and Italian Fiat 3000s. So starting with the British Whippet tank, Japan received six of these in 1919, and this was a much lighter tank than the Mark IV at only 14 tonnes, though still a bit on the heavier side compared to the French Renault FT-17, but it had a faster top speed of 8.3 miles per hour or 14 kilometres an hour, so more than double that of the Mark IV's top speed. Unfortunately, like with the Mark IV, it is still only armed with machine guns, four of these being mounted at various points in the superstructure at the rear of the tank which again limits the effectiveness of this vehicle when going against enemy tanks. While the armour ranges from about 6 to 14 millimetres and a crew of three operated the tank. Like with the Mark IV, this would again be a 0.0, .0 tank on account of the armament, but with its faster speed it will be a much better choice for getting around the battlefield, capping points and flanking enemies from unexpected quarters, where armour piercing bullets might have a chance of getting through their thin side and rear armour. In real life the Whippets were mainly used for training purposes, though two were sent to Vladivostok as part of the Japanese contingent during the Allied interventions in the Russian Civil War. The next tanks to arrive in 1919 were 13 French Renault FT-17s, or ft Co. in Japanese service, with these being armed with either an 8mm Japanese machine gun or the French 37mm cannons in a rotating turret. So already this is a massive jump up in combat effectiveness compared to the Mark IV and Whippet tanks because of course we have the turret and we now have some actual decent anti-tank weapons. These were also much lighter at only 6.5 tonnes, though unfortunately they're still very slow, with a top speed of 4.3 miles per hour or 7 kilometres an hour, while the armour maxes out at around 22 millimetres and a crew of two operates the tank. Machine gun armed variants would again be 0.0, .0 tanks, but the 37mm gun variants could probably go at 0.3 on account of having an actual non-machine gun armament. While the decent armour will work in your favour, though you might be a little bit let down by the slow speed and the fact it only has a two-man crew. Again, in real life these would be used mostly for training uses, but some of these would see combat during the Mukden incident, while Chinese FT-17s would also be captured by Japan, though by the 1930s these were relegated purely to training uses due to the availability of more modern tanks. The last of the World War I era tanks to be acquired was an Italian Fiat 3000, this being an Italian design which was derived from the French Renault FT-17, with the main differences being its smaller size and lower weight, weighing in at only 5.5 tonnes and it is also much faster at 13 miles per hour or 21 kilometers an hour. Though again, the main armament is still only two 6.5 mm machine guns in the turret, with the tank itself manned by two crew and having a maximum armor of 16 millimeters for the front. Again, this would be a 0.0, .0 tank, 
but it would also be the fastest World War I tank available to the Japanese. So again, like the Whippet, this would be a much better suited tank to fast strikes against enemies and their flanks. In real life, only one Fiat 3000 was ordered for testing, though some sources suggest more were possibly captured in Japan, but I haven't been able to verify the accuracy of these sources. So unfortunately, that is it for the World War I tanks that were used by Japan. Though of course Japan would go on to develop many of its own tanks in the interwar period. But I'd be interested to hear your views on the tanks covered in this episode, as well as any other tanks you'd like me to cover. I look forward to reading your comments below. So anyway, that was just a quick episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. I've been Toreno and I'll see you next time.